please like and subscribe our channel for trending news videos. Flesh eating bacteria results in foot amputation for Texas man. A daycare teacher in Houston had to have his right foot amputated recently, after it became infected with a flesh eating bacteria. Raul Reyes, 26, sought treatment at a clinic for what he thought was a blister on the foot after an injury at work, but instead was diagnosed with the flesh eating bacteria, the Houston Chronicle reported. Doctors had no choice but to remove the foot to save Reyes' life, his wife Jose Line Reyes said. The blister was covering his entire foot, she said. Losing a foot was a terrible outcome for her husband, but things could have been much worse, she added. I think about it every day, every day he's been here in the hospital, Jose Line told Fox 19 Houston, I think about how I could have lost him. I think about it every day, every day he's been here in the hospital. I think about how I could have lost him. Jose Line Reyes, wife of amputee Raul Reyes. Doctors believe Reyes contracted the infection through an open wound from an ingrown toenail, but they are unsure where he first caught the infection. Salt or brackish water are common places for infection, the station reported. Last September, a Hurricane Harvey first responder contracted a flesh-eating bacteria during rescue efforts, Fox News reported, and would have died if he hadn't sought immediate help. In October, a Texas woman died of flesh-eating bacteria after a raw oysters banquet, Fox News reported. She and friend ate about two dozen raw oysters each before the woman became ill. The woman was crabbing with her friends and family on the Louisiana coast when she contracted the infection, the report said. Most infections happen between May and October and common symptoms include diarrhea, nausea, fever, and chills, while more severe infections can lead to death, Fox News reported. However, Jose Line Reyes told Fox 19 that the couple had not gone to the beach in a year. He's perfectly healthy, she said. So, it's just weird how all of this happened. She told the Chronicle that the couple's attitude toward recovery remains positive. He is very eager to start therapy for a prosthetic, she said. The family has set up a GoFundMe account to raise money for his prosthetic foot because Rahul does not have insurance, the station reported. Jose Line told Fox 19 Houston that Rawls' three-year-old students are also helping him get through his ordeal.